So guys, for the first step, you want Fortnite to be running, and then you want to head over to search, and then type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to look for Fortnite. Once you find it, you want to right click on it, and then click on Go to Details, and then you want to find Fortnite again. You want to right click on it, click on Set Priority, and then make it high, and then click on Change Priority. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search, and then type in Sound Settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure the correct speakers have been selected, and then you want to scroll down to the very bottom, and then click on more sound settings. And now next to playback, you want to select your speakers, you want to double click on it, and then click on advanced, and then you want to set the quality to the highest quality, and then click on OK. And now on your speakers, you want to make sure that it's been set to a default device, so you want to click on your speakers, and then click on set default. Once you click on set default, then the green tick will appear, and click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search, and then type in troubleshoot settings, click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on other troubleshooters. And then next to audio, you want to click on run. And then once the audio troubleshooter comes, you want to click on yes. And then follow the steps and then see if this fixes your problem. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to expand audio inputs and outputs. Then you want to find your speakers. You want to right click on it, click on update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best drivers for your device have been installed. If your speakers or your headset comes with a software, like my one does, you want to click on it and then head over to settings and then make sure that your firmware is up to date. Now for the last step, you want to head over to Epic Games and then find Fortnite. You want to click on the three dots, click on manage and then click on verify. Now once you verify this, you want to restart your computer and then next fix the problem. 